Hey guys, Shyla Colt here, completely mass filming in case you're wondering why I have the same outfit on in all the videos. Life is crazy. It is insane. So I'm squeezing it all in now. Here with my book discussion as promised on the Hunger Games trilogy. So let's start with the first one, which was the Hunger Games. I went into this blind. This book was so hyped up. I was sick of it. I was over it before I even opened the page. So I think it was really a good thing that I waited, let the hype die down, and then opened it sort of with fresh eyes. It was so much more complex than I thought. The way that it was presented, it just seemed really flippant and I really didn't understand what was going on or why the kids were even in the competition. Why would kids face off against each other? And as I was reading it and I got into it, it was like mind blown. I will say that in this first book, I did not like Katniss. I admire her bravery. I admire her loyalty to her family. I completely understood why she was the way she was. If your father died and then your mom fell into this deep depression and you were left to literally provide for your family because you were all on the verge of starving to death, it would harden you. You would not trust or really care for or love or let people in easily. And that was the position you, she was placed into before 17. The world she lives in is terrifying. That you could offer your name in, in these Tesseras, I think they were, I might be murdering that name, where for more grain so you don't starve, your name is put into this roster, this list, more times than everyone else and you have a higher chance of being chosen for the games. I can't imagine having to make that choice. So when we got down to the politics, I was completely enthralled. She did such a good job of layering it, explaining it, making you really feel like it was plausible, which is terrifying. And then when she volunteered herself for Primrose and she went into that, and then you have PETA who was picked and you see that backstory with him, that she couldn't accept that kindness was like this splinter in my skin that just dug deeper and deeper and deeper and irritated me. So that was one of the main reasons I really wasn't a fan of Katniss because Peter was there, he was kind, and even before we knew sort of his emotional attachment to her, that he actually did have a crush on her and he liked her, he was a good ally. Though I can understand if you know that you're going to have to eventually kill this person, why are you going to get connected to them? You're going to want to keep them at a distance because they too are an enemy. Hamish was crazy. <laughs> I liked him despite his drunken insanity because I could see how if you had to do this and you lost everything, you would be completely off. This is exactly how you would be. And that was what I liked the best about her writing. She was true to these characters. She was true to the experiences that shaped them. You're not going to bounce back from something like that, especially when you're living in a world that continues to be this screwed up. I was, I would have been shocked by the twist if everything hadn't been so so spoiled. I mean, there was no way you couldn't know that they were going to team up because, I mean, it was broadcast everywhere. But if I had been reading it without any knowledge of it, I would have been shocked by Hamish's decision to have them do this pairing where they were at it together. I was shocked that it ended up working out in the end and they ended up surviving. Really enjoyed that book. Catching Fire blew my mind because it showed just how devious and intelligent Snow was and how aware of every single move and just how insidious he always knew just the right button to press. And it was so crazy to me just how willing to die Katniss was. I wasn't sure if she just felt like her life wasn't as much as her sister's. Maybe she felt like she didn't have anything to live for. Maybe she distanced herself from emotions. These are questions that I would have really liked to have answered. But I don't think we ever really did because there was always sort of this mysteriousness about Katniss. I did like that the games were upped to like the highest bid in Catching Fire because what we thought was crazy before was nothing compared to this. They were literally on an island that was a death trap and at certain times things were released and were chasing them. Like there was nowhere to go. The alliances made, the characters that were introduced were all extremely fascinating. I ended up even more upset with Katniss because you can't accept the emotions you clearly feel for Peeta because it wasn't one-sided. If it was one-sided, she wasn't into him, I'd be like, you like who you like. But there were emotions there and she was fighting them. She couldn't 
even explore that with Peta, and yet for the first time you're seeing Gale, and Gale's like, oh man, I almost lost my chance, so now I want to get with Katniss. No, no Gale, you don't get a chance. You didn't show anything, you don't get to swoop in after Peta kept her alive, sacrificed all that stuff for her, and be like, I'm Gale. I didn't like that. I also didn't like that she always seemed to gravitate towards whichever boy needed her most. Like, her emotions didn't matter, it was her instinct to nurture and that's not really love but I really did enjoy Catching Fire and I felt like it was pushing her towards being the character that she wanted to be the ending was freaking cuckoo bananas and literally the world blew up and the rebels came in and they saved her I was shocked I don't I was shocked that 13 existed but then I was really excited about it and I liked the way that was a plot twist that it was rumors that they had perished but she was completely out of it and I felt like I really saw how she felt about Peta. That attachment between them really showed in her response when she was taken away from the games. And it kind of redeemed her in my eyes. It took two whole books. But then I kind of warmed up to Katniss. Then you move into Mockingjay and everything just gets intense. She's lost so much like I would have to be heartless to not feel for her. I really like the way that they showed the politics within the politics even though you have snow and you're trying to bring snow down because you want to have a new world you already see that the politics are going to continue and are already being played as they try to figure out well once snow goes down who's going to be the next person and when you have the district 13 president saying yeah we'll help you but you have to help us and she was kind of callous and cold man like i didn't know how i felt about that i like seeing prim grow up become more of a woman and you see her strengths i like seeing her mom finally get it together i mean it only took 17 years of your child's life but i mean hey at least you did it so in a way i did like to see that family come full circle Obviously, this is a discussion, so I don't have to worry about spoiler alerts, but it was crazy with the way that they splintered when they lost Primrose. I was not expecting that. That was a huge plot twist that maybe I should have seen coming, but it was insane to go all the way through all these books and then right there, gone. Seeing her repeatedly stand up for Peta and making sure he was going to be safe whatever state he was in, and then seeing Peta's deterioration every time we saw him, speak for the capital was freaking heart-wrenching and then seeing the conflict that she and Gail had where Gail was like I would never do that and she was like you have no clue what those situations are like unless you lived in them and then it became clear why they wouldn't work and I felt justified I felt justified in the way that I was like this is not gonna work you can't make yourself feel this way he's not going to connect with you the way that Peta does I mean there were certain things that she could show to Peta that I didn't feel like she showed to other people like when she would have nightmares and she would actually ask him to stay with her because then she would be able to sleep that's just not Katniss Katniss just didn't do things like that she was so self-contained and to me those were the things that made me feel like if she was going to be with anyone it should have been him because he got it and I felt like together they would be able to heal but when he when they finally rescued him and he came back my heart seriously broke when he thought she was the enemy and he attacked her I wasn't expecting it and up until the very end I had no clue how that was gonna play out I mean he was crazy he couldn't be trusted he didn't know what was real and what wasn't and she stuck with him through the entire thing and to me that changed the entire way I felt about her by the end of the series I was rooting for Katniss, but I didn't necessarily love Katniss. I understood where she was coming from. I appreciated all that she had been through and that she was still even somewhat sane, spoke to her bravery. But I liked that Susan had her break down, that she would have those moments where it was too much because to me, that's what kept her from being a Mary Sue. Even the decisions she made that I thought were bad where she would try to force herself to think about Gail or push aside how she felt about Peta, just showed that she was a flawed human being, just like everyone. And I know some people don't like Mockingjay, but I really felt like that book 
went exactly the way it needed to go. Like if this was real life and this was war and these were people playing these games with each other, trying to one-up each other and everybody's got a different agenda, this is how this would go. It couldn't end like wrap neatly in a bow. And then some things that you do just can't be taken back. I really enjoyed this series overall. I was really impressed and I liked it. I feel totally okay with that. If you read it, like probably a good 65% of the world has, what did you think about it? Who was your favorite character? What was your favorite book? Are you one of the people who loves PETA with Katniss or do you hate it? Did you think that she belonged with Gail? Why? I would really love to talk about this because finally I can. I know what happens and I want to catch up with everyone. So thank you for joining me for this discussion and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.